Okay, as you can see, we've uh, turned a few slides over. We've got a sawhorse across the, the slide rails up here with the tank area. And then we've got a cradle made up just to cut out. So cradles will be really handy as you, as you proceed with the construction after this point, just to keep everything suspended. Uh, we're installing the bottom rails. There's two bottom rails, uh, left and right. You can tell them apart. Uh, there's a, a short angle on the front end and then a longer taper on the back edge. Uh, they go, they, the, the, the drill pattern is uh, five inches on center. If you're building from a kit, the spark, the, I'm sorry, the bottom angles are already pre-drilled for you. So they can be clicoed in place. Uh, you'll notice a couple areas where there's no, where there's no holes pre-drilled in the, in the bottom angles. And those are there to allow uh, precise fit for the, the, the spar carry through. The main spar carry through will bolt here. So you'll see a little gap in the, in the, uh, in the drill pattern, as well as here at bulkhead B. You just want to, you want to uh, make sure that rivet goes through the bulkhead tabs and to be precise, we just left those out and they can be drilled through after the fact. So, so now we'll uh, drill this out, uh, get it uh, riveted in place. This particular airplane is gonna have a uh, radio mount, so we won't do any uh, riveting up here in the front edge because there's a, there's a mounting plate we'll cover a little later, a bracket for the motor mount, uh, but everything else can be riveted down. Okay, side. we've prepared the uh, bottom rails. Everything has been, the bottom rails are now clicked in place. Nothing's been riveted. Uh, we're ready to do that. However, we want, if you're building from a kit, you'll have these heel supports is what we call them. Basically, it's a, it's a place uh, with a round fuselage that sometimes is difficult and uncomfortable if your feet are always sliding around. So uh, Steve came up with this idea that we would uh, bend these uh, heel supports. So basically, click a little rivet into the bottom of the fuselage. Uh, your, your foot will, will rest on here, so it catches this little lip. Uh, if you want to, I've seen some guys put uh, the non-slip uh, tape uh, on here to, if, you, if you want that extra friction. Sometimes that's too much, but if you can see, I've got one Clico in here. Uh, we'll Clico the other one down. As you know, or as you should be aware by now, the, the side rails, bottom rails, I'm sorry, bottom rails are Clico in place. They come up right in the same rivet line all the way up through, so we want to have these in place before we, before we rivet the, the bottom rails in place. But once this is in place, We can go ahead and, and rivet the bottom rails, rivet these sides in place, and in preparation then for the, the next step will be the, the uh, motor box area.